your inspiration station worship 94.5 fm the fifth annual urban one honors is taking place on monday that is on martin luther king jr day on tv one and Clio tv hosted by our man tank i went down hung out on the red carpet and in the media lounge and i got to holler at my man marvin sap so definitely got a get caught up with everything he has going on because he's actually taking part in the special so you guys definitely have to tune in for that you recently collaborated with tv one for your life story and as an artist i know you have to be open and vulnerable but was it a challenge for you being vulnerable putting this life story together oh without question i had to tap into some emotions and had to dig back and deal with some stuff that you know i kind of compartmentalized you know, the passing of my wife, you know, what I had to do as it pertains to dealing with my kids in order to get us to a place of being healthy and whole. Even reliving some of the moments and stuff, you know, growing up and dealing with epilepsy because of, you know, my drug use and things of that nature. So just having to relive those moments and uh, being vulnerable enough to allow people to see certain aspects of my life that I didn't want them to see. It was a leap of faith because, you know, folks can be extremely judgmental. But thankfully, partnering with TV One and with the team, they helped to make sure that we literally put it out in a tasteful manner. I'm grateful. I'm grateful for the TV One team and, you know, for everyone that really, really have embraced and enjoyed, you know, what you know, never would have made it was all about. And most importantly, what the message was. And that was no matter how difficult life may be, you know, you can come through it. And when you get through it, you'll be stronger, wiser and better. And being a gospel artist and having that platform, there is a misconception that you have to be perfect and your art and quite human. You can't make mistakes, basically. Right. So was it therapeutic to show the human side to Marvin Sapp? Oh, heck yeah. It was absolutely therapeutic to show what I've been delivered from. You know, I, I think that, you know, a lot of times, we can overexpose ourselves. And I'm a strong believer, not in being transparent, but I believe in being translucent. Mm -hmm. Um, Certain things, those of us in the body of Christ shouldn't let everybody see about our lives um, because there are struggles that we're trying to overcome and it affects our witness ultimately. That doesn't mean that you're being fake. That just means that you're striving to protect, you know, what it is that God has invested in you. Once you get delivered from it, of course, you're supposed to have a conversation. You're supposed to tell people about, you know, the saving, keeping and cleaning up power of what Jesus Christ can do. And that's one of the things that I've always, you know, strive to do. I'm I'm far from perfect. Uh, I got issues, I got struggles. There are things that I deal with every day but I just don't think that there are things, that th- those things that I'm dealing with that everybody should know. Okay. I think that uh, those things I should war against myself, uh, pray to get delivered from, pray to deal with. And then once I come out of those situations, you know, begin to share with people about what God has done. But, you know, uh, that's my perspective and that's my theological position. Um, other people believe differently. Let everybody see everything that you do. Uh, that's the day we live in a social media world. And uh, I struggle with that because, you know, I came about way before social media. So, <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, I'm I'm just trying to be the best Marvin I could possibly be. If you see me mess up, just know that, you know, it wasn't on purpose. Love me and give me another chance. I know most of us are still in a fog like this pandemic, man. Uh, what are some words of encouragement that you can give my listeners? And this 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 pandemic thing was was um, I looked at it I looked at it totally different than most people. Uh, I was on a plane for 25 years, four to five days a week. The pandemic was a vacation for me. It gave me a break, and I needed it a much needed break. But it also taught me to recalibrate, to rethink, and to reimagine how I, I was going to do ministry afterwards. Thus the movie. Now everybody's able to, you know, watch services via streaming on all the different social media platforms. I want to challenge people to do what I did, you know, recalibrate, rethink, reimagine how you're going to do your life from this moment on. That's what I did, man. I Like there are things that, you know, I never imagined or thought I would do. I'm trying to do them now. And the reason why I'm trying to do them now is because if the pandemic taught us nothing, it should have taught us and this is just an old church cliche. Tomorrow really ain't promise. You got to live your best life while you can. Your best life, not a life that you just want to live and be random and crazy. 
be strategic, plan, map, you know, focus on accomplishing goals, not just going on trips. It's more to life than sand. It's more to life than beaches. It's more to life than going to Greece. I've been there. It's cool. You know, I ain't got to go back. Dubai is a great place. I went over there, did concerts, but hey man, it was, it was a trip. There's more to life than that. Set goals and make sure you accomplish them before you live here. My goal in life, and I'm preaching now, so I'm about to close, but my goal in life is to die empty, meaning no regrets. You know, I want to be able to lay and take my last breath saying everything that I desire to do, I did it. And that's what everybody should do. Well, we'll definitely be looking forward to what is coming next from our man, Marvin Sapp. I got a lot. I got a whole list of stuff that I wrote out during, the, during COVID. And we still in COVID, but a whole lot of stuff I wrote out. I want you guys to be sure to catch the fifth annual Urban One Honors taking place on Monday, January 16th. There's a two-hour telecast, all right? Martin Luther King Jr. Day. TV One Cleo TV, my man Tank, will be the host. And not only will Marvin Sapp be performing, but also Kiki Wyatt will hit the stage. We're going to recap it all next week for sure. Y'all keep it locked right here. I got more on the way. The Inspiration Station. Virtual 94.5 FM.